It can be mainly um, Vata, Pita, Kappa, it can be dual, it can be, it's, it's not so common, but it can be with the three energies very alike in proportion. And in the spiritual ground, Ayurveda also has its peculiarities. Awata kind of person is going to be more oriented usually to karma yoga. Karma yoga means that your sense of fulfillment is going to come mainly by action, serving another, pe another person, serving the country, serving people, just like your action is the way that it can bring divinity to our, to our closeness. Like the Franciscans, like people that do Red Cross uh, medical people, like uh, Madre Teresa, all the people that say, man, I don't want to think so much, I don't want to pray so much. I want to work, to serve people. So this idea of seva in Sanskrit means just be as the nature, giving, offering, without demanding anything in return. And the, the thing that is being offered is much more spiritual here, the meaning. So there are a lot of people that find their peace and their union with God through action, cause and effect through action. And usually this signifies that Vata people are the more prone to this kind of yoga. Other people can do it also, it's not exclusively of Vata, but it's easier usually because this kind of um, temperament is more related to Mercury, it's more related to Saturn, it's more related and it can be also related to Keto somehow. Or it's mainly Saturn and Mercury, uh, Grahas that have this Vata presence. Pita people usually are more fond of, of Jnana Yoga, the yoga of knowing the divine, studying and uh, going deep 
into spiritual search. They are not so much interested in going to charitable hospitals or doing charity with their uh, physical action, but they can do this with money. This is also can be also kind of seva. But usually, um, Pita people like to listen and study and talk more about spiritual knowledge. The, they have huge libraries, they go for numerous talks, and they uh, listen in videos and all this stuff, because they feel that learning from the divine make, us, make, them, us, <laughs> make them more uh, in divine presence. So this kind of yoga, Nyan yoga, it works, it fits well usually Pita people, because Ketu and the sun are very uh, knowledgeable. Also Jupiter. But uh, the idea here is that uh, there is one specific part of Pita, Sadaka Pita, that it's a connection between what we learn and our spirit. So Pita people like to learn about the divine and this makes them feel divine. Kappa people usually are more um, comfortable with bhakti. Bhakti yoga is translated as devotion, but it is the inner feeling that the divine is present, strongly present with a lot of love and care. This kind of presence it's very um, subtle. It's not just like God is embracing you in this moment in a physical manner. It can be also. But it is just like you are being taken care of all the time. And the planets that govern more Kappa are Jupiter, also Venus, and the Moon. These three Garahas are very prone to be emotionally sensitive and they are very prone to feel comfortable with this kind of yoga. They are not needing to do so much external action. Praying is the main uh, road, the main channel for Kappa people to connect with the Divine. All these three types of yoga are described by Sri Krishna in Bhagavad Gita. And there are other types of yoga also. But uh, in a synthetic manner, we can say that not on Patanjali's view about one uh, making his life a practice of yoga, these three trends of yoga can make every person comfortable with the idea of living spiritually, uh, going and in moving into uh, divine presence. This is very beautiful and also very... It's a, a big treasure from yoga tradition to mankind. Namaste. If you want to have online consultations, please contact my email namaste.tiago at gmail.com. Namaste!